Hi everyone, um, welcome back to my videos I guess. Um, the last time I did a video was back when I was staying with Jack's mom um, over the holidays and then my family came to visit which was amazing so I was preoccupied entertaining everyone back in Virginia and also back in New Jersey as well so I've been gone for a little while but um, I thought I would start off the new year with a haul and actually I was going to do a what I got for Christmas video but I mainly want to focus on beauty on this channel and I've got some other stuff as well so I think I'm just going to do a beauty haul. Some of this stuff I picked up when I went shopping in New York and some of this stuff I got for Christmas but it's just a lot of beauty products all together so I can share with you what I've been, um, what was on my wish list and what I purchased and I've actually used a couple of the products so I can share like a little mini review with you as well. So I've got a lot of products here and this video may be quite long so I hope you like long videos and if you do grab yourself a drink and make yourself at home I guess. Um, so yeah, I've actually got two things here in huge gift bags. What's this? Oh this is just a Christmas gift bag. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start randomly. I asked for a couple of things from Space NK and, and some kind of luxury beauty items that are kind of more expensive here in the US and also just harder to get hold of even though there are Space NK stores in New York. I still, you know, um, wanted to get some stuff. So the first thing, I'm just going to put this on my lap so it's a lot easier. My hair's annoying me. Oh. So the first thing I asked for was this creme de corps. Um, Kiehl's um, Soy Milk and Honey Whipped Body Butter. Now I got this for Christmas last year. It's a super luxurious, luxurious, <laughs> luxurious um, body cream. It's very, very thick. It's very, very intensely moisturising. It's one of the most luxurious creams I've ever worn, I guess, or tried. Um, it's kind of expensive. Um, that's why I asked for it as a gift. Um, because it's not something I regularly buy, you know, but it's just one of the nicest products I've ever tried. And I also really recommend their, is it their body scrub or body sort of um, exfoliant. And um, that has the same um, soy milk and honey um, scent to it. And it's so nice. And I just love this range for body products. I think it's one of the nicest out there and you just can't go wrong with it. So I wanted this for a long time and I really recommend it if you haven't tried it. Next thing I got um, are these velour lashes. I wanted to try them for a long time. Um, um, I didn't get sent them. My, I got these for Christmas. But I have them on now. Um, and the one I have on is called Wispy Something. Oh, Wispy Me Away. And they're so natural. I really like the Demi Wispies by Ardell. But I want something a bit more with something with a bit more longevity. These are meant to last longer. Um, they're made from mink. I probably should look into that more. But anyway, they feel really soft. They don't feel spidery. They don't feel plasticky. They feel a lot more durable. And I don't know. They kind of go with your actual natural lash rather than just be separate. So these are really nice. And they, you say, they say on the back you get 25 applications. Um, if you keep them clean, you don't avoid putting mascara um, on top of them and all that other nonsense. But yeah, I've got them on now and I really like them. Because um, I just couldn't stop like myself from using some of this stuff. But I have been patient and saved some stuff. Next thing I got was just a random MAC thing, which I've never tried, but I really wanted to try. This is the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus. I believe Light Plus is a bit more yellow undertoned. It has a bit more warm tone to it. It's more of a C than a W. And I believe the light is more pink toned, I think. But anyway... I like this. Um, you have to be careful about how much you apply because it can not look that great in, in um, photographs. But it's a really nice product to have as a staple if you're not really sure of what product to buy as a setting powder. But I really like it and I've used it before but I just wanted to get another one. Then I got um, these Aromatherapy Associates Essential Bath and Shower Oils. You can get these from Space NK. They're so nice, they're so potent that you need the tiniest amount and it really does make, make your whole bathroom smell of whatever scent you're going for. And they really, really do work. Um, you get the 7.5ml um, little products in here. So you get the Relax, De-Stress and Revive. Revive is super strong, but I'm going for more, the, more of the relaxing one. Um, I know I'm going to use that the most. 
but even when you open up the packaging you can just smell it instantly and I love essential oils I just feel like they're just so nice and calming and I'm so into the whole like pampering like body care and I just love having baths I'm a bath girl and it's a shame that my bath here is not that great and the water is not that good either because the water is one of those systems where if you leave it on too long the hot water before you know it you run like a cold bath and then then you have to wait and then get another bath or a shower or whatever so yeah I think I'm visiting um, England soon so I'm going to take these with me so I can have a bath at my mum's house because she has a really nice a big bath but yeah these are super nice products and did I mention you can use them in the shower as well but I don't see the point of that because I'd rather just have a nice lovely bath okay this is so exciting like I asked for this um, I was looking at the gift sets on Sephora when I was browsing through my potential Christmas wish list and I saw this and I kind of wanted it to put it in my makeup kit but I also wanted it for myself as well lip tiles are so good they may not be the most convenient things to have in your makeup collection I guess because they do take a bit of work um, but they're so beautiful you can mix them they you need the tiniest bit of matte it's like a pure pigment um, and you get metallic you can get matte and I just thought this was an amazing um, gift and you also get a lip primer as well but they mix really beautifully um, you can create about 100 shades out of these shades here and if you really are fussy with lip colours this would be the perfect thing to pick up if they still have it I hope they do because you can just really tailor what colour you want if you think oh that red's a bit too blue tone or that red tone's a little bit too red I want a bit more pink you just add the pink and there you have it a perfect lip so I'm going to be experimenting with some of those products and I'm really excited because I love the lip tars next I got the OPI little mini nail polish set in what's this New York Ballet and you get my point exactly don't touch my tutu care to dance um, pirouette my whistle and I actually have these two the um, care to dance and pirouette my whistle in the full size which I didn't realize well obviously I didn't buy it myself and um, my mum bought it me but yeah I love these mini little polishes I actually have I got the best of um, OPI set last Christmas so I have like 12 mini OPI nail polishes already so I have like a little mini collection going on and I think it's really good especially if you throw out nail polishes frequently if you just keep the mini size they just take up so much less space and they're really cool so I love that I also got a really random foot file, foot file from Ulta I threw the packaging away but I just kept it in this um, but yeah it's really cool I actually used this a couple of days ago because you get this little thing here it's like um I don't know like what's it called textured I guess and you use it after you file your feet and it kind of improves the circulation in your feet and what's so nice about it is if you use that before you put on a foot cream your foot cream just goes on so much nicer and you your feet feel like if they're kind of dry and calloused up and I guess if you use that I don't know your feet feel more alive and invigorated and you feel like whatever treatment you put on it's going to absorb better so I really like that I'm really into foot files and all that other ped egg and all that other crazy stuff but yeah so I always like to try new stuff with feet because feet are just great aren't they <laughs> and next I got the Kodaly Beauty Elixir I'm still on the fence about this a lot of people well the ingredients really don't match the claims like it has alcohol and it has a lot of perfumey essential oils and while essential oils make you feel really good and they're nice they're just not the best thing for skin especially sensitive skin but still I'll use it because I haven't had any reactions with it it hasn't seemed to dry my skin and I don't use it all the time so I'll use that still I've got this really cute little set from my mum I thought this was really thoughtful it's like a little tool set and you get like nail clipper nail file tweezers and scissors that comes in useful and I also asked for this from Jack this is the Laura Mercier matte radiance baked powder and I'll open it up for you so you can see that's the first thing I do when I get gifts I just open them up straight away so the packaging looks like this it's kind of bulky but Laura Mercier is really elegant an elegant brand and it's kind of like a domed shape and it's a really nice highlight it's, it's kind of like a golden champagne color so if you have a slight tan or if you're kind of a, a darker light shade like me you would really like it okay 
So I also got the Lipstick Queen lipstick. This is from Space NK. And what shades this is called Peachy Nude. And I'm always looking for a perfect nude shade because that's my favourite shade. I feel like nude goes with absolutely every makeup look and it doesn't tend to make your makeup look overdone. It kind of balances out anything you've already done. And the packaging is really nice. It has that NARS-esque type of packaging. And the shade is gorgeous. It's kind of the perfect mix of browns and warm nude colours, I guess. I really, really like it and I'm excited to use that. I also really like trying new brands as well. I've never tried Lipstick Queen um, before, so I'm excited to use that. Okay, and the other day in Sephora in Times Square, I picked up this. I've wanted this for a long time, but on, um, sorry, I've got hair on my face, it itches. Um, on the Sephora website, it was sold out. They only had the darker shade, which was 40, I believe. So this is the Makeup Forever Matte Bronze uh, Powder. And I'm very into my matte bronze powders. I use them so much. The only one I have at the moment is the Hoola. So I wanted to try something else. Packaging looks like this, really simple. You get one of those little crappy sponges in the bottom, which you just throw away. Um, yeah, so basically it looks like that. It's a very nice golden colour. Let's have a look. It's a really nice colour if you're kind of a light to dark light skin tone. If you're medium, you definitely want to get the 40 or the 30, I think. I think there's only two shades. But it's just a really nice, subtle bronze. And I'm going to be using that a lot because bronzers are one of my favourite products next to concealers. So we also got these two Prep and Prime highlighters from MAC. I've wanted these for so long, so glad I got them. I got the Light Boost and Bright Forecast. Bright Forecast has that really salmon undertone, so if you suffer from really bad dark circles, you can apply that before um, the Light Boost, and then you can apply the Light Boost over the top. I'm just going to quickly show you what they look like, because I think it's so annoying when people don't show what things look like. So it's one of those little YSL-esque um, concealers. And then you twist it, and then the, co the, the colour comes out, and then you can apply it wherever you like, and blend it with another brush. So yeah, that's really interesting. And I love this MAC packaging, the glittery stuff. I love it. So I got these two brushes from Kevin Aquan. I wanted something a little bit more luxurious, something I've never tried before, and I've never tried the Kevin Aquan brushes. So I picked up these two here, and the packaging is really gorgeous. It has like this glass kind of packaging um, or plastic I guess and inside it's like brown and sparkly and this is the small eyeshadow soft round tip and this is really good to get into the crease um, really really soft but really pointed and really small I have nothing like this actually I have a, I have like um, a tapered brush but nothing this small so I'm excited to use that but I haven't actually used it yet because I'm very onto looking after stuff and not using it until I talk about it. So the next one is small eyeshadow slash eyebrow. Now I wouldn't use this on my eyebrows but I see where they're coming from. Um, it's a very small brush. This one is very much like the uh, 219 MAC pencil brush but it's much nicer. It just feels so much more, I don't know, sturdy and I don't know, the, br the bristles are cut in such a nice way that it just gives a really nice shape to everything. So I'm going to be using that and I'll probably give you a more in-depth review, but so far, so good. I promise I'm almost coming to an end. I actually have another bag to do after this, but I'm going to kind of speed up. I also wanted to try the Revlon Matte Lip Balms, whatever they're called. Um, I looked at the, what's the other ones, what are they? The luster and they look so tacky, is that the word? Like I swatched a bit on my hand, which I may or may not meant to do, but how the hell are you meant to see? And it was just like chunks of glitter, really, really cheap looking, not nice. So these are winners for me and um, wore that quite a lot. The colours I have here are inclusive, elusive, sorry, elusive and um, striking spectacular. Claire, whatever, um, and Audacious. Okay, so these are really nice colours, and I know that these two colours here are great summer colours, so stock up now if you want. Um, 
because these colours are going to be huge when it comes to summer and this is a really nice baby pink as well and I, I really like these products. Um, I was looking around the drugstore for stuff um, that I wanted for Christmas that was worth my while to try and I really do think these are worth picking up. And Okay so I want you to try an Hourglass um, eyeshadow duo, really cute packaging, I, I use the um, product that everyone uses here on YouTube, the powder in dim light or diffused light, but I wanted to try an eyeshadow because the eyeshadows are really nice. This is in June, really gorgeous packaging, so so nice packaging, let me pull this out. So this is kind of like a gold shade with um, like a pine bronze sort of green shade, really nice everyday colours and great for travel and this is just something that I really wanted to try um, just because it just why, why wouldn't you want this it's gorgeous like and the colours are so nice these are totally my colours like kind of winter colours but coming into spring really really nice haven't tried it yet but I really love the colours I'm so excited to use this so excited um, okay tired so I picked up two Pro Long Wear concealers um, I normally go for W under my eyes because W I guess warm tones cancel out like sallowness and greyness so if you're going to go for an under eye concealer in terms of Pro Long Wear it's probably best to go for W but just make sure you're getting the right shade because W can make things a bit darker so I picked up NW15 and NW20 in the Pro Long Wear I got a sample of the dual action eye makeup remover from Laura Mercier and a sample of their primer which I do like okay and the other day I went to get something from Sephora Times Square and I was figuring out what to try and I decided to get the Buxom full on lip cream and I wanted to try the white Russian but I know um, someone else on YouTube has that colour so I don't really want to get the same things because I like to talk about my own things and find you know new products to talk about that I kind of don't like to follow everyone else. If something's really, really good, then I'll definitely buy it. But I like to find new things myself, if that makes sense. So this colour is so, so nice, especially for summer. And this is called Creamsicle. And it's super pigmented, thick, shiny, glossy, um, very opaque lip gloss. Um, the colour is just unlike anything... I don't know whether this is really picking up that well. <clears throat> My voice is going weird. But it's just so nice. It's like um, creamsicle. It's like a candy pink with a strong shot of coral. That's how I would say it. But it's such a nice colour and I'm so excited to wear it. I haven't got anything like this. And I was going to pick up um, Russian, white Russian. But I just thought I've got like a hundred of those like Bellini, Revlon... I don't know, lip gloss shades. So I'm not going to go for that. Okay, so the last thing I got in here, this bag, was this little Clarins goodie bag, which I got from my mum and dad. And it just has a little flash balm in here, which is great product. I love this. This is my favourite thing. A little mini, um, what is this, instant, instant like natural lip vector. Great product as well. I've talked about this before. Get the little lip gloss in here and a little lipstick and yeah it's really really cute so I'm excited for that like you can't have enough little travel bags I think I have tons so on terms of hair I got this bedhead party girl let your hair loose your hair your way so it looks like this and then you get this little sex toy looking thing here which is amazing um this is what Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> you get this after party smoothing cream, which I used today. Kind of made my hair a bit greasy, probably used too much. Then you get this head rush, rush shine spray, which is meant to inject shot of shine in your hair. And then you get this hair spray, which is very, very strong cold. But I love the bedhead products. They're so fun and sexy. Love them. And then the last bag, little Christmas tree there. I picked up some of this stuff, or Jack got it for me actually, um, Bath and Body Works Twisted Peppermint, smells amazing, smells like chewing gum, um, but sexier, 
and I really like it. This is Triple Moisture Body Cream. Really moisturising. Obviously not as luxurious as the Kiehl's, but that's just like an everyday smell good sort of thing. This is the Twisted Peppermint uh, Bubble Bath. Really, really nice. Oh, and then this is nice too, the Twisted Peppermint Fine Fragrance Mist as well. It's a little bit overpowering at times, but I do like it. Oof, oof. Oh, so then I was in Ulta and then I saw they had the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights and I was with my mum and my sister and I was telling them like all the things I should get like to bring back to England that they don't sell in England because obviously America is a little bit more faster on the beauty front and they just sell things sooner because most drugstore brands are American like Revlon. So yeah, they got the Photo Ready Skin Lights and I picked up the Bare Light, there was a pink one and there was a bronze one and there was another one but I picked this because I kind of like my highlights to be slightly golden I do like High Beam by Benefit like the pink shade of that but I wanted to go for something a bit different um, you can mix this into your foundation for like a dewy all over glow or you can use it separate as a highlighter but I haven't used it yet but I'm excited to use it I do however kind of think it's a bit expensive for what it is it's a very small amount of packaging it's how many mils is it probably doesn't say 30 mils of product um, and it's like $11 which is expensive for a drugstore in my opinion. I got this little Holly Bubble 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 Bath. Cute. Uh, I got two pairs of lashes from the vintage company. These are so nice. They remind me of my shoe Imura lashes which I'll show you. Where are they? Right here. They remind me so much of them. They probably copied them, but it's way cheaper. This is called, please tell me. Oh, this is called Nancy. Then I got this one, this is called Kitty. Now this is very Katy Perry-esque before she went au natural. Really like this. And I got a pen because my mum always buys me pens for Christmas because pens are things they didn't really buy yourself unless you're like, I need pens, but this was cute. And I'll use that. And if you're in the UK, I really like the brand The Sanctuary, which is sold at Boots. They do really nice spa things. They also have a spa in the garden, so they do some really nice products. My mum picked up Mark picked up for me the salt scrub, which is like a little, I think it's like a one pound little sample try it thing. And then got the hair detox exfoliant. Exfoliant, hmm. Deep cleanse hair and scalp and remove product build up. I'll be needing that after all this product. And then another salt scrub. And then, oh, she got me the firming bath salt soak, which I really like. I used to use this all the time back in England and it's really moisturizing and you don't really need to use um, body moisturizer after you've been in the bath because it's just so thick and creamy it just moisturizes your body then I got this little body scrub it really doesn't do that much scrubbing but it's very very gentle and I just love these products I really like they just remind, remind me of home every time I smell them oh really good and next oh do me I got the Margaret Dabbs London foot care which is sold at Space NK and like I said before I'm obsessed over feet, mainly because feet are those kind of things that don't really get looked after by most people and I just love my feet um, so I try and look after them because I just feel like I feel so much put together when I have like my toenails painted and my feet are nice and smooth and stuff. So anyway, this is like a dry oil for your feet, it smells so good, it has lots of essential oils, it has emu oil which is obviously one of the most moisturizing deeply moisturizing ingredients you can buy it's kind of expensive um but yeah oh this is australian emu oil that's amazing it's one of the most luxurious feet products i've ever used except for my um loxitan foot cream which i used to use and i love it so yeah oh one last thing i picked up a rollerball i've never bought a rollerball before um so this is exciting this is the ysl manifesto eau de parfum rollerball which looks like this. Um, yeah, really great to put in your handbag and 
I just, it's a great way to try fragrances and see if you really like it without having to invest in a huge size. So yeah, that was all my stuff that I got, mainly for Christmas and some stuff I picked up shopping here and there. Hope you enjoyed it and I haven't done a whole video for a while now so I really enjoy watching them so I hope you enjoy watching them too. Um, yeah, and hope you have a nice evening, whatever. And yeah, if you want to like leave me any video, what's it called? What's the word? Video suggestions or what you really want to see me film next, do let me know. And yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.